Continue to look into one of your stories involving Dennis Cole and Stove Company out of Fabius. And so are the State Attorney General's Office and the Better Business Bureau. News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski tonight says some help may be on the way for people burned by Dennis Cole and Stove. Today, the place is just as closed up as it was the first day we came out here and started investigating claims Dennis Cole and Stove Company took people's money the past few months as prepayment for coal and then never delivered it. It was over a week ago the first time we came out here and ran into Judy Leonard, who handed over three grand to the company for 12 tons of coal. She's never gotten. I'm going to have to find somebody else and pay for more coal and coal that I've already paid for. While we, the state attorney general's office and the Better Business Bureau try to get to the bottom of this, <laughs> Woodford Brothers in Apulia is stepping up to help out people like Judy. They're offering $50 per ton off their normal coal prices to supply any of the people burned by Dennis Coal. Although Woodford Brothers has had no part in causing this to happen, we just don't want to see this reflect badly on the industry. Uh, and because we have been here for generations, this is our community, and uh, we don't want to see people damaged financially because they trusted another company. Blastcheck is the company that's partnering with Woodford Brothers on this deal, and Tom tells me they've got more than enough coal to supply anybody that's been impacted by Dennis Cole and Stove Company. Well, for us, it, it boils down to family. You know, we do want people to come here to have a great experience and, you know, to, to just enjoy uh, uh, the service that we provide for everybody. And, and we want to be there for the community. We want to help out and reach out. And, and he says they're already hearing from Dennis Cole customers left out in the cold by the company. Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. Now, to claim the offer, Woodford is simply asking customers to show their receipt from Dennis Cole or some other acceptable proof. Also, the new order needs to be placed and delivered before November 30th of this year. The state attorney general's office has impacted Dennis Cole customers should continue to file complaints with their office. And remember, if you have a story you'd like our team to investigate, give us a call anytime at 315-446-9900 or email us at yourstories at localsyr.com.